Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announcing Health Canada is approving a clinical trial for a possible Canadian-made vaccine. To find out more, we've invited to the program today Dr. Scott Halpern. He's in Halifax. He's the director of the Canadian Centre for Vaccinology, also a professor of pediatrics, microbiology and immunology at Dalhousie University. So Dr. Halpern, thank you for joining us. So uh, I'm going to ask you to tell us a bit more about this uh, first clinical trial in this country. This is tied to the Chinese-made vaccine? That's right. The vaccine that's made in China uh, that's been in uh, early phase clinical trials already that were started in uh, China um, uh, mid last month uh, and is now being brought to Canada to start clinical trials here. Okay, so fill in the blanks for us then. If it's already gone through some clinical trials in China, where does Canada fit into this picture in terms of getting this uh, trial to actual manufacturing? So uh, what we'll be doing is doing a, uh, a additional phase one clinical trial and then uh, rolling that into a phase two clinical trial uh, to expand what is being uh, studied in China. Um, and uh, hopefully uh, that point once uh, uh, if we're successful in phase one and two trials we'll move on to phase three studies which uh, are to so paint that picture for us if you will what uh, what is the distinction between phase one two and three as you try out this vaccine in this country sure phase one studies are the first studies that are done and they're in small numbers of people usually in the range of between uh, 30 and 100 people and their primary purpose is to uh, determine whether the vaccine is safe, whether it's well tolerated by individuals who give it, and get an early look at whether there's a good immune response to the vaccine. Phase two studies are studies in a larger number of people, so numbers measured in the hundreds, so from three to 700 people. And they, the purpose there is to get more information on the safety of the vaccine, but also more detailed information on larger numbers of people of the immune response to the vaccine. The phase three studies are actually studies where you immunize even larger numbers of people, and then you wait to see if the vaccine works, if those people come in uh, contact with uh, the virus, uh, uh, do they get infected or are they protected from infection? And after phase three studies are done, then, uh, if they pass all those tests, then this uh, vaccine is ready to be approved by Health Canada for use uh, in the general population. So how quickly of a process are we looking at here? Is this a matter of weeks, a matter of months? Well, typically to go through from phase one to phase three studies can take five to seven years. Uh, given the urgency of the pandemic, uh, those steps have been compressed somewhat. Uh, and they're compressed in such a way uh, to not compromise safety, but to improve efficiency. So that typically one waits until the phase one studies are completely done, including follow-up for as long as six months before one starts the phase two study. And then you wait for the phase two studies to be completely done all the way out to six months or longer uh, before you start phase three study. Mm -hmm. The current conditions, what we'll be doing is starting the phase one study. And as soon as we get early safety data, um, from the phase one portion of the study before the phase one study is even completed, we'll start enrolling in phase two studies. And then once we get some early indication from the safety and immune response in the phase two studies, before waiting for the very end, we'll start enrolling in the phase three studies. And by that way, we can cut that uh, time down substantially. And those are where the estimates of uh, that you've been hearing from 12 to 18 months, that's where those estimates come from. Okay. You, you know, you talk about the, the safety of the vaccine. Is this going to be determined independently based on tests in Canada, or will you also be considering the data being collected in China with their clinical trials? No, the, 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 we will use all information that's available. Uh, that includes the uh, information uh, from the clinical trials in China. Uh, uh, Health Canada has had access to those uh, that information because obviously the, um, that information helps to inform whether we can start the studies here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the Trudeau government, as, as you know, did set aside money for research and the manufacturing of a possible vaccine. How has that money allowed your lab to do what you're now doing? Well, the, the, the funds that are being provided will pay for the... Uh, the phase one clinical trial. Uh, so uh, uh, it, there are obviously costs to undertaking a clinical trial because we are monitoring 
individuals very closely, doing laboratory tests uh, to measure their immune response, to measure other uh, laboratory results in their, in their bloodstream to make sure that the uh, vaccine is not having any bad effects. Uh, all those, uh, all those uh, laboratory tests and the uh, close monitoring of the, of the participants uh, costs money, and that money is going to be uh, for Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, quickly running out of time, but Dr. Halpern, I, you know, I, I do want to ask, setting aside scientific objectivity, are you allowed to say whether or not you're excited about this clinical trial and its potential? We're certainly excited uh, for this clinical trial to start. We want to have uh, clinical trials done in Canada. Uh, this is the first, but there are going to be uh, many more, several more. Uh, I would think that over the next month, you'll see a number of uh, clinical trials starting in Canada at our clinical trial sites across Canada. Uh, so um, it's very important for us to get studies going. Um, the sooner we start, the sooner we'll have results. So it's, it's very exciting to, to finally get started with uh, vaccine trials in Canada. Okay, uh, Dr. Halpern, thank you for the time today. My pleasure. Good talking to you. And Dr. Scott Halpern is the director of the Canadian Centre for Vaccinology. He joins us in Halifax.